welcome back to my channel. So today I have a stationery and organizational haul for you because here in Australia we get like six weeks off over Christmas or if you're in uni you get like a couple of months and then it's back to school time. So I thought I would do this video as like, you know, a start of 2016 new year organization slash back to school. Also, I know that for some of you, you get like a small amount of time off at Christmas and then you go back to school. So that's why I have a back to school video. So. I went a little bit crazy. I have had an obsession with back to school time. It's been my favorite time of the year ever since I was a little kid. I was running around Big W today with like a handful of stuff being like, I don't even go to school, but I just love it so much. I felt so out of place. There was like moms and kids and I'm just like, like overflowing with products. I'm like, I don't even go to school. What is this? But I really want to get super organized and do a whole lot of things with all of my like setup. And when I move and have like all my like you know, desk organization stuff for my work, whatnot. I wanted to get organized, so I went and purchased a bunch of things that I thought would help me, and I thought it might help you too if you are interested in getting some things before going back to school. So please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and let's get started. So the first place I went is Typo, and I'm starting with my favorite thing. This thing is so awesome. It is one of those like desk planners. I'm hoping that my lights are not making the plastic reflective, but basically it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Uh, lines, I think it's really cute with this sort of like turquoise and pink pattern. Also, all the writing is in like metallic rose gold, which I love, thought that was awesome. And I've seen so many people who do YouTube have these on their desks. Whenever I go to someone else who makes YouTube videos houses, and I see these on the desk, so I'm like, I need to get myself one of those. It's a really, really easy way to get yourself organized for making videos. But if you're in school, easy way to write down when you have assessments due or tests or anything like that. I think it's super helpful. They have heaps in typo, but I really liked this one with sort of the pink and the turquoise and the rose gold. The next thing I got is another little pencil case because I feel like you can never have too many pencil cases. I have so much stationery that I can always fit things into pencil cases. So I have sort of the matching theme to that desktop like planner. It's like the turquoise and the pink and it just said bag of tricks. Oh, and that one also says make shit happen. It's like the theme at um, Typo, which I thought was really funny. It came on a notebook as well, but I didn't want the notebook because it's the A4. I really wanted like a small one, which is like A5. But that's besides the point. Um, but yeah, I really like this. I think it was pretty cute. And they had 50% off on all this, so it was $12.50 for the two, which is awesome. So next up, I went to Big W, and this is where I went a little bit crazy because I didn't have a basket or anything. I just kind of kept grabbing things. I think I went a little bit far. I don't know if I needed this. Did I need this? This is a label maker. Please tell me, did I need this? Is it worth having a label maker? I just saw it and was like, it's on sale for $25. I'm gonna label everything. I get to label all these folders, manila folders I've gotten because I've got to store my receipts and all my like paperwork and I've always wanted to get a label maker so it's all neat. I'm really, really fussy with that sort of stuff. I like things to be really neat and all match. It's crazy, it's like a organization thing of mine. So I don't know if I went over the top with this. I was running around with my friend. I was like, am I going over too overboard? Is this too much? And I was like, YOLO, buy it anyway. Next, I got a pack of whiteout because I don't actually have any and the amount of times that I've been writing in my little diaries or something and I've just gone like scribbled it out. I was like, no, let's get a bit neat here and let's use some liquid paper. So I have three colors, purple, green, and blue and this is from Papermate. I can't remember how much this was, maybe like $5. Probably a bit overpriced for uh, whiteout but I thought it was pretty good because I liked the colored ones. I also picked up a glue stick duo. I've got a big one and a little one. I think this was like a $1.50 or something. Really, really affordable. And I'm about to lose a bunch of the stuff that's sitting on my lap. Um, yeah, I have been needing glue sticks for just little DIY projects here, there, and everywhere. Also, when you want to do like cool, like makeup stuff, especially at Halloween, glue stick in your eyebrows. And I've just not got a glue stick. So I thought I could get multiple uses out of this. Next up, I got a couple of exercise books. If you need exercise books, five cents. I was about to say 50 cents. No, five cents each at Big W, which is insane. My friend bought like 14 books or something because she's like, that's it, I'm done for the year. It's amazing. So they're just nine by seven, just, uh, what do you call it? Lined paper, or oh, they even have a margin as well. You know it's good when they've already got a ruled margin. For five cents, I just thought these could go into my collection. Sort of more on a business level, more for work, not so much like my planning and my ideas. It's not the creative type of book, it's more for like the numbers and the important stuff. I also picked up a pencil set, and yes, I got the junior one. I got the junior triangular beginner's writing pencil set. It comes with three triangular pencils, one of which has a ruler on it a rubber and a pencil sharpener. 
I don't know if I've still got my pencil sharpener, that's why I wanted it. I also love writing in pencil sometimes, so I needed some more pencils, and I really needed an eraser, or a rubber. What do you call it? An eraser or a rubber? Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you call it. But yeah, I thought this was great. This was only $4 as well. You did get, you could get like the big kids one, but I went with the junior one. I just liked the red. And the last thing that I got from Big W are these like colored manila folders. They come in five colors. Yes, there's 20. So there's pink, yellow, green, blue, and this awesome like movie color. I really quite like it. So I got the colored ones because I just thought they looked so much better than the plain yellow ones. Let's be honest. And then I can use my unnecessary label maker to neatly label all of these and I just thought these were really cool. I think these are only like $5 as well. The next thing I thought I would share with you because I don't think I've actually shared this in a video is my Erin Condren planner. I purchased this a few months ago and the awesome thing about Erin Condren is it doesn't matter what time of the year it is, you can get like from that particular day. So I purchased this in August, so I got August until December this year, but I also got all of 2016. So I already have an entire 2016 diary, which is awesome and I love it. I really wanna get in and do some like proper planning because right now I'm only just using sort of, um, what do you call it? Dot points, not dot points, just plain pen. Like this is just in pencil for my January and then so like planning is kind of just really plain and I want to get in and start using some really, really awesome stuff which to make it more fun. But I've also got it like customers that has my name on it and I just really like this like sort of purple paint, what is it, watercolor wash. I just really like this. This was expensive but this was $75. That was including shipping which I guess isn't so bad especially with the exchange rate. I'm not sure if the exchange rate was better than or not. However, in saying that, the Kiki K planners that they have here in Australia are $80, so technically it's cheaper than that, but oh my gosh, it's a year and a half, and I love it. It's so cool, and there's so many awesome like little planner accessories and stickers that you can get for the Erin Condren planners, so I just thought I would include this because I'm all set to go for 2016. One of the other things I thought I would quickly mention is the other day I was at Woolworths and I picked up a pack of Sharpie pens. They're kind of like a little bit odd colored, like they're not particularly I'm trying to get these in an order where they look pretty, like they came in the packet. I think that was the color order they came in. So they're just like odd colored Sharpies. They're not particularly like your rainbow colored ones, but I thought they had some cool ones and I'm always collecting like Sharpies and pens because there's so many cool DIYs you can do with them. And they're just really awesome for decorating and writing labels and things like that, even though now I have a label maker, but besides the point. I can still do really cool stuff with Sharpies. So I got these from Woolworths and it was a pack of eight for $10. And the last thing I thought I would share with you is a new drink bottle. Yes, there's lots of condensation on the back of it because it was sitting in the boot of my car and it was really hot and then really cold and then really hot and really cold for a few days. But I got this from Big W as well. This is $6. It does come in a turquoise color. My mum got the turquoise one. It has like a little flip up here. And I love this. I think this is really cool. Like it's plastic, it's not glass, but it looks very funky. And what I'm actually going to do in my next video, so come back to my channel in two days time, I think, there will be another video in which I'm gonna turn this into a drink bottle DIY. So get excited because I, it's gonna be the coolest thing ever and I'm so excited for it, but I really like this drink bottle. And I figured back to school slash work and drinking water is healthy and something that I thought could be a part of this video. So yeah, that is all of my current back to school supplies. There are a few other things that I would like to get in terms of storage and those like weird little binder box things where you put the manila folders in for storage. I really wanna to go to Officeworks and get a whole display of those. But I think that's something new I will do once I have like my little office set up and I will show you how I'm gonna do my like, what do you call it, bookshelf and how I'm gonna do all my organization. So yeah, I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below and let me know what other back to school videos you would like to see. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.